the GFCI for the washer is tripping. So he has a um, he has the washer plugged in, and he also has the um, <clears throat> the Dyson uh, rechargeable vacuum cleaner plugged in. So um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to turn the dishwasher on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the washer on, and then I'm going to turn the Dyson charger on, and I'm going to put my amp meter on here. So that will let me know if um, the GFCI is going bad or if it's overloading the, the GFCI. That run. Okay, so this is this plug this back in. So now let's go to amp. And it's gonna be there's two wires on there. There's two wires on that circuit. Look at that. They got two wires under one breaker. I got a black and I got a red. I'm surprised this is not tripping also. Golly, that's crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna let this run for a second. Let the motor start going and I'm gonna put my amp meter on it. But I think it's going to be the GFCI over there. So it's going to be that wire right there. So it's only pulling 0.35, I mean, yeah, 0.35 of an amp when that motor is running. So we're gonna replace this and mark this as a bad GFCI. All right guys, so we're turning the circuit breaker back off for the washer. Okay. This went off. Watch a little long there. Out with the old and with the new. Line side, yep. Down with this. Um, put it back 
in there. Let's go ahead and turn the circuit breaker back on. 